This tip is based around an option called inject swap or inject range. So let's see how inject swap works. If you have a track assigned to fader 1, which in this case is the dialog master track, and you want to swap it with another track on another fader, say for this example, effects, you can simply touch the inject point on fader 1 and then at the same time touch the inject point on the fader you want to swap to. And as you can see, the two tracks are now swapped. To reverse this process, all you need to do is touch them again and they're back where they were. To get to the option called Inject Range, you go to the Option page via System, Configure, Interface, and then scroll through the options and set it to Inject Range rather than Inject Swap True. Now save and exit. The Inject Range mode allows you to quickly uncover hidden tracks. A good example for using this would be here, where let's say you have a dialog master on fader 1, but you're in the middle of a final mix and you want to quickly get to the other dialog tracks. To do this, you simply touch the inject point on fader 1, and at the same time, touch the inject point on fader 8. Now you have all the dialog tracks sequentially assigned from fader 1 to fader 8. To reverse this, all you do is press the undo button to get back to where you were.